qualifying is far away from the final. And when you're in the final, you have to be prepared have to be in a good situation. You have to be a squad is in this moment in, the, in a good run. So um, it's really far away. But of course, to win the title, it's the only the only possibility is to go through all rounds. And um, it's a very important round. It's only eight teams um, in the uh, in the tournament. And it's very quite interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Of course, I'm looking forward to the game, but um, we have to respect the situation, our situation, the situation of um, Southampton in this case. And um, so, in this moment, I, I can't say <laughs> uh, which, with which team I, I, I can play tomorrow, because um, the last game is only two days ago, and that's, uh, that's the thing. But um, when we made our decision about um, the lineup, the starting lineup, and the squad, then um, uh, then all lamps are red from this moment on. And of course, we want to we want to win in, in a yeah, of course, difficult game um, against Southampton. But yeah, to win titles is a cool thing, I can say. The fans are excited about it, and, and some of the fans that we've spoken to are said that they're glad that you're actually away from home because you have <laughs> away, away from home. Are you able to explain why, why you performed so much better on the road beating the likes of, of Chelsea and Manchester City? Yeah, well, it was completely different games. Uh, um, you cannot compare the games against, for example, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Man City and um, yeah, Swansea. It's, n it's not possible because... Um, complete different stories of um, the games and um, so you always have to be to be prepared for for um, solving the problems in the, in, in the in the actual game and don't think about um, the solution of the last game it's not allowed because it's not po really possible so the only thing you can do or you have to do is to to take the confidence of the last result in the game but then again um, you have to be prepared for the, for, for the different um, problems in the next game. So, um, yeah, that's, it would be very easy if we only say it's, it's for us easier um, to play away or to play against teams with, with more ball possession or things like this, because if it would be that easy, then everybody could do it. Um, and it's, of course, it's not easy. Um, but yeah, in our situation of... Um, in a moment of development in which we are now, um, of course, um, what we have to train is um, to react faster on, 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 on things that happen in the game. And it's if you defend well and then to, to, to get the ball and to, to, to switch quick, for example, then that's, that's, a, that's a good thing for the team because you know, that, um, that's what our biggest skills are. We, are, we have speed. Um, and and um, very good discipline in this moment for defending, and so it's, that's a good thing. But um, the last step we have to do in the in, in, in other games like Crystal Palace or Swansea, I, I would won't take Swansea in this to explain our football because it was really strange. If we, we have to open a, an, another chapter, windy games, for example, and then. Um, it's not a, it was not a, 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 home, a home game like this. Uh, it was um, yeah, it was a big challenge for for concentration and, 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 and staying in the game and not worrying about the, the circumstances. So let's take the, the game against Crystal Palace and then we have the situation that we we had ball possession. Okay, we had a bad start. Forget it. And then we had, we had ball possession and. Many things we do. We do really well, really well. Passing here, passing there. Good movements um, in the whole squad. Good protection of our own offensive uh, things. And then, if you play in a small space, what you have to do? Then you have to take uh, the opportunity for the for the big space, because somewhere else is a big space, and uh, if there are players, they want to join the game. And if you the next step is to find them in this moment, better timing in our in our offensive actions. Um, that's what we need then, and that's what we show the players. Um, the, the one thing is to know about it, the other thing is to do it. And um, 
I feel we're in a good way in this part two. At the end, you cannot have in each game 20 chances. Sometimes you have one, should be enough. Sometimes you have five. They are, they are absolutely enough, and you have to take them. And then you're in a good position. And in the moment we you score, the game changes again. We have to take this. That's how football works. I appreciate that you haven't decided to start in the 11 yet, but as far as the goalkeeping position is concerned, history so far in this competition has seen Adam Bogdan starting the top. Might you do that again, and what difficulties does changing the goalkeeper provide in terms of what's in front of him? Sorry that I'm not prepared in this moment because I had too many things to do this morning. I didn't talk about with John Achterberg about this, but I think because it's his decision, yeah. Um, yeah. Since I'm here always in Capital One Cup, played Adam Bogdan. Um, so, um, but, but I have to ask him, um, and because um, I don't know about um, things that happened um, in yesterday training or things like this. But yeah, it could be that um, Adam will play, but um, we will think about this after press conference. But, but if maybe it's a good moment to, do, to talk about goalkeeper at um, Liverpool FC, uh, because I'm absolutely satisfied with our goalkeeper situation. I'm sorry to kill your stories about um, goalkeepers and um, German goalkeepers and different goalkeepers from Stoke or wherever. We are not looking for another goalkeeper. Yeah. We have enough high-quality goalkeeper. Simon Mignolet, I, I had a lot of goalkeepers in, in, in the last few years. And he's one of the smartest I ever had. He's open, completely open. As Is it possible that now it's louder with your t tipping? Because it's an interesting <laughs> thing to talk about. <laughs> Oh, cool down, guys. It's a wow, wow, And he's young enough to develop, to improve. And he had a not the most easy situation, I think, um, before I came here. But since I'm here, there's nothing to criticize, absolutely nothing. He's a good football player. We have to reel with, the, with his legs, both with the foot, everything is okay. Everybody's watching for a second Manuel Neuer or something or things like this. Um, but he is on a really good way. The only thing we have to learn as a team, we have to give our goalkeepers a ball in the right situation and not hope that they can play the final pass to make a goal or something like this. So the goalkeeping situation is, is until now, is a comfortable one. And um, I hope it stays like this, of course. So I don't know who will play tomorrow. We have to, we have to talk about this. Uh, um, and then maybe it's Adam Bob Bogdan. If not, then it's Simon Mignolet. Um, because um, Fulton played yesterday 90 minutes. So, um, but the common, the general situation is, is, uh, is very good. And um, yeah. well, we are really lucky with our guys between the posts. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to answer this or not, but just in, in terms of two players who've been out for quite a while that came back on, on Sunday in terms of um, Jordan Henderson and Daniel Sturridge as well, how satisfied were you with their 20 to 25 minutes? And is it possible to know yet whether there's any reaction to having played? Phys physical reaction? Yeah. No. It's good. Good news. And, and they did their job. It was, was good. Um, it was important for us. They, 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 they helped us keeping the result. In the, in the last day, uh, it was not easy, um, especially for Jordan, of course, in, in, in this position. <laughs> um, and then did that what we, what we spoke about before, that he should be our target for winning balls. If we got the ball, please be an option, be first option. That's what he did. Everybody could see in a few moments that uh, could see his quality. So it was, it was good for us now with the problem it's the Southampton game. And it, we cannot ignore that it could be overtime. <laughs> um, I'm sure 120 minutes would be too much for both. No, it, it, it's like that. Though we can 
don't have to think about starting or something like this. And we cannot go in a game and know these two players we have to change for sure or things like this. But um, yeah, if nothing happens from now on till the plane started, then they will be they join us and then we'll, they will be in the squad. And then yeah, we have again these two options. Yeah, but the strongest team. <laughs> um, it depends to the situation. Um, how many, how much um, they played in the last <laughs> few days? Uh, we can we cannot ignore this. We can ignore the last game, not the last two games. We can't ignore the next game. That's that's the situation for this. You usually you need completely fully squat. Everybody should be. Um, in best space, you, for this you need, in, a, in an idle world, you need six angry players who are not in the squad or something like this, then you can change. That's not our situation. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to think about it. It's really, it's something like, a, it's a puzzle. But at the end, it will be the strongest team for sure. Yeah, but um, we don't have to think about Arsenal, Man United, Man City. We only have to think about Southampton. And, uh, um, so it's not imp important who can be in the half final. <laughs> um, that's the biggest, uh, the biggest fault you can make to think about the next round. Who can be, who we can get in, in the um, in next round. So it's only Southampton, and they're strong enough, and they are. Um, I think they're pretty hot on, the, on this game because they, they lost their last two games um, and so they, they won the strike back and that's, it's a home game. I heard about Southampton and Liverpool are not the best friends, I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's not a friendly game. <laughs> 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 so um, yeah, we have, if we want to go to half final, we have to fight for it. Eh? And yeah, that's what we try to do. at Anfield, I, I knew Southampton before, um, and <laughs> a really good squad, it's a, it's a good team, brilliant, brilliant offensive line, they all um, fit, and um, then <laughs> Pele Mani Tadic, it's difficult to play against, um, but we did it not so bad uh, at home and, uh, early in our early season, um, and yeah, we got this. Yeah, a set play for the for the draw, and um, yeah, I, I of course it's uh, it's important for us to to know more about the opponent. We know now much more about Southampton than we knew in October. <laughs> but uh, if it's help, if it helps, that uh, depend to our performance tomorrow. There we are. Um, but it's of course. But this week I. I learned a lot about English football, a lot more. I heard about that you change your, the, the, how do you call it, and the, 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 the schedule for the, for, the, for the second part of the season? Richmond. When, we, when we play again against which team? Fixtures. Pardon? Fixtures. Fixtures. Fixtures, yeah. We change fixtures in, in the second part of the season. Cool. So we play Leicester in December and February or things like this. So it, it, it's funny. Maybe we play against Southampton in January again. I don't know in this moment. But um, so playing twice against the team is better than never. And so yeah, they know more about us. We know more about them. Good start. Radio system. Uh, Jürgen, you said when you first came here that your priority was tightening up the defence at that back line. You've had four clean sheets so far since you've arrived here. Clean sheet is not always uh, a sign for good defending because um, football, of course, you can sometimes, not often, but sometimes you, you can use Fortuna. <laughs> and, um, but we didn't have to use her so often. And um, yeah, that's what I've said a few 
days before, I think. Um, we don't give the opponents too much chances. And it's the most goals we, 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 we conceded were set plays. We try to defend this better. And um, that's um, our job. But uh, yeah, defending um, is not only because of clean sheets, it's because of um, feeling good in the game, because of um, feeling confidence and um, feel free for offensive. That you, when you know it's not easy for the other team to, 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 to get chances, then it's, it's much more easy to play. You can get more risk in offense, and that's what we try to do. But um, yeah, it's. I'm not. I'm not satisfied. I'm not, I don't think we are. Uh, I don't know at 50, 60, 70 percent because I don't think about this. Um, but um, yeah, it it was not too bad, but it could be much better. He won't play. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he was in good shape. Yeah. And um, yeah, I told it um, to the team. I said to the team before the training when, when Steve was with us in the dressing room. It's completely normal, absolutely normal, and um, it should always be like this. If you are a player like Steven Gerrard in Liverpool, then the doors has have to be open always, and that's how it is in this moment. Um, it's an important sign for all players. If you behave like him about, don't know, 50 years in the club, if you always, everything you have then, it's easy to come back. And that's how it is in this moment. And it's for us, it's, it's a good situation because he's a, he was a very important player in this club. In this moment, he is a very important player because he's in training. And he trains well. If it's possible, we don't have too much training. I'm sorry for this because we always play. But um, it's, you know, it's a good situation. Everybody had a smile in their faces when, when, we saw, when they saw Stevie. So it's good to have him here. We hope he can, we can help him. And he can help us for sure. Only with being in the dressing room. It's cool. Last question for me, Bernard. Just one question. Can we just check on the fitness of Philippe uh, Coutinho or his progress? Is he likely to be in the, in the squad for Wednesday? I cannot make decisions in this moment because we have another training today. So that's, uh, that's it. And at the end, we have to, to talk about everything uh, again with the medical department. And then we have to talk to Phil. Um, yeah, it would be close, but possible. And then we have to, 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 to check um, or double check the situation and then we make a decision. I don't know in this moment to wait. You have to wait. It's Sorry. Later, then. Of course, no problem. <laughs> I sent messages. <laughs> no, guys, just the next bit of the bar,